Welcome back Data Sharks. In last lesson, we learned how to overwrite an existing table in Hadoop using scoop import command. What if your use case is to append data to an existing data? In that case, we can use hyphen append directive in scoop command. Basically, this will create additional files in the same target directory as specified in the scoop command. To understand this, let me show you this on the terminal. Okay, so let's bring the terminal up and let's run our same import command for uh, employees table. Maybe we can use another feature of scoop which lets us store all these redundant parameters into an option file and then we don't need to type it every time we are running in scoop import. So I'll make sure that I have that lesson also added. Alright so table employees. So we are importing same employees table. And our directory will be same existing directory, okay, which we used earlier. It's called scoop employees and driver com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. Okay, now we need a append first, okay. So let's run it like this, okay, append. All right, so again, by default, four map port set up and job is running. All right, so here you can see, usually when we ran the previous commands, uh, the last statement in our log was retrieved 1000 records, but now we got some additional information and it's saying that appending to directory employees because it found that the directory was already existing and using found partition 4 okay so let's see how our Hadoop site is looking so let's go to this directory all right so we had these four files existing and you can see from the timestamp so all these were created at r 14 and 40 minutes and these are the new ones okay so we created four new files in the same directory now if we try to create a hive table on top of this stfs directory instead of 1000 records we'll have 2000 records so they are duplicate records but uh, it's only for demonstration purpose usually you'll run this kind of cases for the scenario where the data is new okay or you are appending the data from different sources they all have same structure but their source is different so you are merging all the data from all these different sources into one sdfs location in that case you can use append command okay so try this out on your end and uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you for watching